We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different. In Night Springs. Tonight's reality bending episode Timebreaker. How many parallel realities I need to brave? How many lives? How many versions of me it takes? I will stop it. And I will come back for you. My love. And cut. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba 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 -ba, da -da -da. <laughs> Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, the final for now episode. We will be getting into the last bit of the expansions whenever it comes out, but this is the last so one for now. So. Let's dive in. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so it's... It's like a reality where he is playing a video game character that's about this agent that goes across multiple universes to try to stop Door, the the villain or master of the worlds or whatever from Alan Wake. And yeah. So it's just a big game within a game, I guess. Okay. So the vortex and the gadget, I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here, but it helps me travel through realities. 
Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter, with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. All right. So we got to go to the green room and so Sometimes we can shoot. It's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. It was almost like he really believed that. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, there's somebody back there. Okay. But it's like he really believed that the multiverse was real. That's kind of what I was getting from the conversation there. So we gotta go to the green room. What was that? What the fuck was that? Hello? Hello. Oh no, wait, what? That's us. What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. Huh? Page is here. Time breaker written by Sam Lake. Suddenly, psychedelic colored lights flare up through the open doorway. Branch, OS in the room. Fierce panicked shout, no door. Forceful, this is your end. A loud struggle can be heard from the room. Actor, shook disbelieving, what the f if? Hello? Here in green room, day. The actor steps into the room, a body sits against the wall on the floor. Someone has been killed. It's the actor's double. The trail of blood on the wall where he hit his head. At his feet lies a gun. A sci-fi flashlight, TBS, that's what he was talking about earlier, and the scepter like PRS, which is also what he was talking about. What the F is this? Actor VO. I thought I'd gone mad, then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. No way this was real. He's like re like verbatim what exactly what happened. The screenplay lies on the floor. The title page reads, Time Breaker written by Sam Lake. The poison pill logo is visible on the page. The PP logo is visible on the page. Another page of the screenplay is also visible. It's 1-1, one, one, this page here. If the player investigates the page... Huh? What is this? Oh, that's so... That's really cool. Okay. Timebreaker solidifier. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, oh. huh? Too late again. Excuse me? The two we were playing in the last one, right? No, this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. He finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> What the heck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, we've got like long hair and a beard now. 
What is going on? I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. Okay, I can't get back this that way. Something else entirely. So we still have our gun. That's good. We don't have the uh, the thing that we picked up though. Yeah, it's not in our inventory. Well, it's gear, items. No, we do have it. So time breaker, solidifier, polyhedron, reality shifter. Gateways between realities when charged. Okay. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off-the-wall, method-acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> <laughs> He's going crazy already. So one, this looks like we've already we've been here before. It's like looks like Cauldron Lake, maybe. But um so is the it's kind of like in Alan Wake where there's different realities and they get warped by the story that's being written. Is this kind of like the same deal? And this is what he was going through this whole time? Like whenever we were interacting with this character in Alan Wake or is this completely separate? That's, that's what I hope we find out. Where the hell am I? More Danger. More nonsense. But no. I was committed to play along. Night Springs City Park Parallel Reality Bleed Zone Cross Dimensional Anomaly No Trespassing Authorized Wreck Personnel Only Okay Let's just keep going I like that oh, What had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it the PRS was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here Yeah so that's going to be fun. But yeah, I think there's there should be a cabin up here, right? No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Where oh, was that? Door's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No. Away from the TV. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. Voice no charges? Me. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. Okay. You are here. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you for that. Okay. The handwriting was mine. Who is theories about the multiverse and door? The who is there? Many worlds. Stop interrupting me. Who is the master of many worlds? Darling's book. He's pulling the strings. I must hide from him. The redhead woman. I must find her again. I know her. Lisa, Elisa, Jesse, Olivia. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. Oh, I'm reading. Look for it. Do you stop? Do you stop rushing me, dude? Come on. Elizabeth, Liz, Savage, Dylan, I hear their thoughts when they die. Oh, that's not good. The Wreck Conspiracy, don't wipe. I mean, listen, even if you have a bidet, you should still wipe. Don't just not wipe, it's gross. Why the acronyms? What are they hiding? Disappear off the grid, we are connected in our dreams. Because one of us is the chosen one who can stop him, replace him. Wreck Agent, Branch, Time Breaker, James S. You are a paranoid nutcase. Door, me. Another me, someone else. He wrote this. He who wrote this. String theory, multiverse. Why is he after me? After us, he is coming. Polyhedrons are the key. Polyhedrons are the key. Killing us, not dead, something worse. Broken. Am I the chosen one? I must be careful. Find a way to break through. Okay. So we need to go into the woods and find the power node thing so we can actually use that. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy node. 
the other me had hidden away from this tree. Okay. 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 I hit it. It's 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 safe. It's it's safe. The creek's deep in the forest, all the way in the water. It's safe. Now get the fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all of the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Okay. So we gotta find the creek, which I believe is just right here. Yeah, because this is like the reality that's Cauldron Lake, but this is Night Springs now. So. I doubt it's down this way. Yeah, we gotta go up the creek. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? Okay, so I can't get through there. I guess we'll just keep going, following the trail. Maybe it's up and over the creek, or maybe it's by the creek. I think I found it. <laughs> just, just a hunch. There. PRS was charged now. I had to get back to the trailer. And All right. Let's go. No. 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 Oh, I'm about to escape. Everywhere. <sighs> so, are we... Is this, like, part of the same reality? Or is this, like, an echo of what's happened before? Fuck. Oh. Fuck this shit! I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent, played by me. Okay, I'm glad that still works. It's all true. It's no hoax. No the sh shadow of his stuff is still there. I was lost in the multiverse. I okay. had to become the role to survive. Be or, the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Okay. Use my PRS. He just doesn't stop Door talking. Be coming for me next. <laughs> I okay. didn't face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Okay. Let's get in here and get this going. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shift on the TV. To get out. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. All right, let's go. Ride the vortex. Okay, so we're in the Ocean View Hotel now. And it's in black and white. This is really cool. Oh, no, no. So this is not the reality that he wanted to go back to. All the TVs busted, too. That's not good. Welcome to Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I don't think that I will. I hope I'm not here for long. <laughs> Jerk. I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. That's probably a smart idea. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. So, 12, 3, and 9. 
twelve three nine. Okay, we'll try to got this. find another node, another TV. Okay. Oh man, we get so lucky whenever we're searching around. We always find the exact thing with stuff in it. Twelve three nine. All right, can't leave. Obviously, do that way. I like these uh, Night Springs episodes because they give you just so much crap. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. It's always the right time to visit Night Springs City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never ending breakfast buffet. Crave one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the six o'clock lobby where happy hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice at the Ocean View Hotel. The right time is only a door away. I see what they did there with the door. Okay, so. So we needed to. Which one did we need to go to? So Tango Lobby, Entertainment Lobby, Coffee Lobby. So it just depends on which we, one we want to go to. Is which door we got to go through over here. So it's not that. That one's not even on there. Then you've got 12. 3. Or do we go to the one that's not right? Find a way out of the hotel. I'm going to try that because that's 6. We've got 3. 12 and the other one was 9. Let's go to 6. Hopefully it doesn't end poorly for us. But I guess we'll find out. led to the same lobby, but in different times. Okay. So many goodies. Was there something there? No. Okay. Thought I saw something. Alright, let's take a look at this from out here again. So 12, 3, 9 again. Okay. More stuff. Just give me all the goodies. Nothing in there. So that's six. Twelve. Three. Nine. Okay. So did we make the right choice? Okay. Let's go right this time. The same warning sign as before. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. It just might something be. To do with door. I mean, I feel like this entire place has something to do with door, but hey, you know what do I know? Okay, so there's a TV. That's good. So we found a TV. A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. Energy to power it, so coffee lobby's next. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. Huh. Alright, what's this? No one a poison pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then maybe poison pill didn't even exist in this reality. Time breaker. Thrilling adventures through time and space. Funny. Who is our mysterious traveler? All is revealed in the pages of the trippiest collections of science fiction stories on the stands. The secret origin of Door includes a includes a 3D pullout map of the Ripple Effect Corporation, the zaniest story we've ever published. The zaniest. It gets a call back to Thomas Zane. Okay. Yeah, 
Okay, just give me all the goods, man. Holy crap. Okay, so I'll need to find the thing thing. I forget what it's called already. So energy. Energy was coffee. Coffee was what, three? No, coffee was nine. Six. There we go. Wait, does this say the same thing again? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so it made sense to go to the coffee one, right? Because energy... Good energy, but we've been to this one already. Crap. Okay, so does it restart us? Can we go backwards? Probably can't go backwards, can we? Nope. Damn. Okay, so the first one we went through was over here. Yeah, we went over... You know what? Let's let's try a different one this time. Just see. Just to see. I want to see what happens. music. Okay. It's Thomas Zane. Or Alan Wake. Or Scratch, or whoever. Rude. Maybe there was logic to it. Finding the right way. Okay. So we've gone through each of them, right? We've definitely been through 12. We've been through 6. It's going to go straight again. Let's go through 9. Oh, there it is. Okay. I just like kept going through 1239 and it finally appeared. Boom! RS was charged up. Now I find my way back to the TV. The TV wasn't 12 or When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Door. And the vortex 12, brought me right? here, where the time breakers attacked me. I believe so anyway. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Chuckling, buddy. Where'd the other one go? Oh. In the face, boy. All right. Oh, we never got this. Not like we really need it, but you know, might as well. Okay. This time. A different. Is she new? If what? I could find my way to her, she could help. Oh, we charged it up. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. Like 
frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free, like text read out loud. It's, it's you. I made it. Thor pulled you away. I thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the Vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real? Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the threshold. No, no, no. A door everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Turn your lives. Pain apart. The master of many worlds. We came through the door. All right. What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, Dor. The master of many worlds.
<laughs> what? Is this the video game? We'll see about that. My time breakers will stop you and you will join their ranks. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Get ready. Well, that's not fair. Oh, I can. There's. It's like kind of 3D. <laughs> okay. Can I like leave? Oh gosh, or does it like wave after wave? When, why do we all look the same, by the way? I can't come forward anymore. <laughs> this is like the last thing I thought I would ever see in this game, but they've done so much. It's really cool. Okay, so this is the final wave. I just realized that you guys can't see it under my camera. But All right. Impressive. Out of all the versions, you might be the chosen one. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never. You will regret this. Also, I was lying. Ha ha ha. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so it looks like this TV's broken. Yeah, so we have to find another TV. Oh, it's right there. Convenient. There we go. Too bad, I'm here. Go to hell. <laughs> Time breaker. That's me. All right. Are these like, are these me? Kind of look like me. Let's get it. I was never here. Nah. Looks like a TV over there. Let's go. Okay, so this. I think the game's called Control. The game that the redheaded ladies from. I've never played it. I think they, I could be completely wrong, but they're intertwining this and they're making this into like the multiverse, which is where this character comes into play. So like he's actually like a part of the multiverse then. And that's all part of like, ow. Okay, fatty.
Jeez. I was close. Dude, my aim sucks so bad. I was trying to shoot fast. All right. Let's get it. After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape that comes to your mind. A pentagonal trapezohedron. How do you know the name of the shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness the ebbs and flows of your thoughts. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break to the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here, in the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you have reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality, a conceptual reality, a thought tries to form in your mind. You focus on the thought and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was the word. Here only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you in it. The words describe you standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity in a place outside time. You wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. As you imagine it, a cup of tea, your chosen hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it, the concept of its smell and taste is real. You wonder why you didn't go with a coffee as it is your favorite drink. You sigh wistfully. You imagine a sigh. You understand that there, your thoughts are as real as anything. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? You focus your thoughts on the master of many worlds. The desert de dreamscape around you darkens. You vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien. God-like awareness shift ma many realities away. How can you possibly find him, let alone face him? You calm yourself and seek harmony. Striving to expand your consciousness to gaze into the secrets of the multiverse and understand your enemy. After struggling for what feels like a lifetime, you feel no closer to your goal. Your mind is not pure enough to grasp the secrets of the multiverse, let alone comprehend its master. You need to study this art to rise to a higher level of awareness. You set out in search of answers. Featureless, the desert continues as far as you can see in every direction. You go east. The desert continues to stretch before you. Above, ideas of supernovas flare up and wink out. You go south. Sand slipping beneath your feet. Sweat beads on your forehead. Above, galaxies spiral endlessly. You go east. The footprints behind you are the evidence of your progress, but the desert seems to continue forever. Above, strange constellations suggest disturbing shapes. You go south. As you wonder, you start to lose all sense of time and place. 
Just when you are about to lose all hope, you think you see something glimmering to the east. You go east. You approach what you saw, hopeful and desperate. There is nothing there. It was a mirage. Your strength fails and you fall to your knees. Growing weaker, you crawl slowly west. You are parched and starving. Dimly, you realize you are close to dying. You are lying on the ground. You strain to clear your murky head, willing the universe to show its secrets to you. Suddenly, out of a blinding light, a silhouette of a man appears. He looks like you, but the way he carries himself and the glint of deep wisdom in his eyes tells you that this is you from the future. He offers you a seed. You accept the seed the man offers, then he is gone. You plant the seed in the ground. It takes root and grows. A sapling rises from the ground. It grows fast. Soon you stand at the front of the gigantic tree, reaching for the skies. It is the tree of life. It is the world tree. A memory drifts down through the boughs like a falling leaf. You follow the memory and see a comic book in your hands. Are they your hands? You can't remember. The comic is about the legend of a god who hung himself from a branch of the world tree sacrificing himself to gain secret knowledge. The tree looms over you, inscrutable in its silence. To gain the universe's secret knowledge, you know what you need to do. You will sacrifice yourself to gain the knowledge you are after, to be reborn with it. You climb up the trunk and hang yourself from a branch. As you begin to choke, your mind travels along the branches of the tree on a spiritual journey. The branches of the tree reach out through all realities, supporting all realities. The multiverse is born. You sense all the realities around you, all lives and all history unfurling like a river flows, forked lightning striking, a flower blooming, a slow motion explosion blossoming like a tree. You hang there for nine nights. It feels like an eternity. Then the branch breaks and you fall to the ground. You hear the tree groan. You see that the tree has grown old and is dying. From the highest branch, a magic fruit sprouts and ripens. As you stand watching, the tree dies. You notice the fruit has fallen to the ground next to you, alongside a large crooked branch. You pick up the magic fruit. It rots away in your hand, leaving behind a familiar looking seed. Suddenly you become aware of a man lying on the ground close by. He seems weak and ill, moaning to himself. Something stirs in your mind, a forgotten memory of a faded dream. You offer the seed to the man. As you step closer, he lifts his gaze to look at you. You recognize him. He is you from the distant past. He takes the seed, then he is gone, vanishing as suddenly as he appeared. You pick up the crooked branch, tracing its path with your fingers. A distant memory stirs. What was your mission? You have gained so much knowledge yet you struggle to remember where you were trying to go. You look for it. Shifting through your thoughts, it comes to you with a jolt. You are trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There was something about a door. With that, a door begins to come into focus. You realize it is missing something. The branch bonds with the door, creating a handle. And with that, the door is fully realized. You grasp the handle and open the door. You step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. You stare at the man at the eye. With the shock, you realize that you have made a mistake. You have come to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late.
have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Boar. And this is... Night Springs. Round one.